guys i just finished my interview it was intense like it was really intense i can't even believe how much grace i got today like exactly what i prayed for was exactly what happened <clears throat> but let me give you the gist exactly what I saw on booking.com so we have the bathroom very neat I would give it 10 mm -hmm. oh, sorry I'm supposed to close my door Because I mean, I don't know, it just always looks static, it doesn't ever have like this home feel. So, much there with the table, I mean, it's really decent for the price. I got it for 32,000. This is the standard room, and there's a TV, a Dex, which I, I don't need all these things because I'm just going to be here for just two nights, so yeah, and um i booked this place is because it's um i checked on google map and it's about six minutes to the embassy so that's why i picked the place i know they were like cheaper apartments and all that stuff my face is so oily anyways so yeah i booked the place because it's the head is like six minutes to the embassy and i didn't want to take the risk of you know staying in a place that may be too far and i really don't know lagos so well i've been to lagos in all my life like <clears throat> today today is making it the fourth time i've been to lagos so i really don't know my way around and i don't want to risk you know being in a place that i don't really know so much by um staying in a place because of cost so i had to really pay that money was a lot but 
it's a sacrifice I have to make to be able to meet up with my appointments on time. And yeah, so let me freshen up and try and get some Z's because I think I will have to get up by 4 a.m. I know my appointment is by 7, but I want to be there by 5. I don't want any, you know, I don't want to go there late at all. So, good night. See you maybe at the embassy. Bye. Okay, guys, good morning. Um, this is 5 a.m. And I'm ready to head out. And, um, yeah. I just i really just pray for god to help me i want to go into that place by faith and i want god to grant me favor i just hope that things you know go as planned and i come out triumphant so yeah i would may not be able to enter into the embassy um doing a video um so you guys will see me when i come back and I will give you the gist of how it all went down. So, see you in a bit. Bye. Okay guys, so this is my outfit for the embassy, um, it's cash formal, um, I didn't want to wear like a t-shirt because I didn't want to look too formal, that's why I wore like a shirt, so I want sneakers because I want to be comfortable and some jeans, and yeah that's it, and I'm all set to go, this is exactly 5.30 on the dots. And I'm going to book my Uber when I get downstairs. So, see you all in a bit. I don't know the place. Oh, you don't know the place? <laughs> oh, sorry. We passed it. Jamal, Jamal. I think it's five back. Let's just go down. Okay. okay. Thank you. So, that place that we are talking about. Hello guys, I just finished my interview. It was intense, like it was really intense. I'm going to give you the full gist. I'm just leaving the MRT as you can see, it's still there behind me. So I'll give you the full gist when I get to my room. Bye.
Okay, so I'm back. I'm back from my interview. Like I told you guys, it was intense, really, really intense. And I'm going to give you the details right now. Sorry, I'm panting. I have not walked out in a while. So I've not walked out in a while, so I mean it stairs was a bit stressful. Guys, hmm. Oh my god. I don't even know what to even say. I don't even know how to explain everything. But first things first. Let me praise my god. Let me just thank him for for everything like Thank you, Jesus. It went well. And God was truly with me. Like, I can't even believe how much grace I got today. Like, exactly what I prayed for was exactly what happened. Like, you don't even understand. <laughs> well, let me give you the gist. Where do I begin? Where do I start from? Where do I keep this from? Because I'm holding it with my hand. Um, it is better for it to be placed. Let me see if I can sit here. Okay. So, hmm. um, first, let me clean my face. So, guys, hmm. it wasn't easy. So, first things first, eh? Let me explain the documents that you need to go with so that hmm, you're not here go come because what i saw my two eyes today if you're coming unprepared your name is sorry um so i'm going to put down like in the description box the list of documents that you have to have first of First and foremost, is one of the documents I feel that we usually forget that we should add that is not written in the check in the student checklist, which I will place on the screen below. On the screen, sorry, which I'll place on the screen is your visa appointment email. Please do not forget to print out your visa appointment email because if you don't come with it, printing it out around the embassy is cut truth expensive. Like to print out one copy is that almost between 1000 to 200 to 2000 per copy something that they print for like 100 naira or 200 naira that's what you're going to be printing for 1000 to 2000 and you do not want to spend that kind of money on something that would have cost you 50 naira or 100 naira from wherever you're coming from so please print out your visa appointment email as part of your documents secondly when you're coming with your documents come with your originals and two extra photocopies of each document that you're coming with do not come here without those things if you're coming they will just bounce you from the gate there's this man that everybody knows his name is mr polinus you don't want to encounter him with your incomplete documents please by all means get those documents get two copies of each from every original you're bringing from your um passport data page two copies to your application form two copies to your um um what's it called your uh, admission letters whether first and second semester whatever semester both of them enrollment certificate of enrollment if possible even print out if you've done like one semester like i did one semester um before coming for my interview online i had to print out my um a result from the last semester because i mean my visa officer asked me to show proof that i i can do well in my studies i mean that's just unique to me and my interview but it may not be unique to you but just come prepared with it it will be good to be an added you know boost it's nothing like over documents it's worse if you don't have like all the documents so i came i had to i didn't have it actually i had to go and print that from my email like my reprinting out all your documents like two to photocopy and original arrange them according to the way it's listed on the lists like the checklist download that checklist is very important it's like let me even show you my own checklist you see like you can see all the 
notes I had to make. I forget my drawing and all that stuff, but you can see all the notes I had to make just to make sure that I was accurate with everything that I needed to get. I had to tick them and cross check and cross check. I also made like extra notes of, of things I needed to get because there were some things that nobody needs to tell you. Like for instance, I had um, my YX results and my Nico result had a name that is not totally the same with the name on my passport and my other documents. So I had to do an affidavit to show that the name on the YX and Nico is the same with um, my, my name on the passport. They didn't have to write it here on the checklist. I just knew that it has to make sense to them that this is not a different person from the person who is submitting the other document. So go through this, scrutinize it. The fact that they have all this list here doesn't necessarily mean that you just submit just this. For instance, they say submit your current um, admission letter. I submitted both my first semester, which had expired, and my certificate of enrollment, which had expired, and my second semester, which was like my current admission letter. Both of them, they didn't have to say submit it, but I know I have to add anything that concerns the school I'm going to. I have to submit everything to prove that, you know, I know what I'm doing. I don't know. So like, it's never bad. It's never a bad idea to over submit documents than, you know, than, you know, um, submitting, um, what's it called? Less documents. So it was, it was pretty organized, pretty organized from the entrance gates. You could just, you, there's a chair, uh, there's, um, Mr. Paulinus to help you like, um, get your documents correctly and have them arranged according to what is, he, he will tell you if your documents are complete or not complete. If they're not complete, he will tell you if you can fix it or if you can't fix it you have to go so please very meticulous from your house what you're bringing to the embassy and then everybody like all the security were actually nice i didn't i know that everybody says that the german embassy hmm, hmm, ha, hmm, they are rude and everything but the security people were really nice to me they were very respectful they smiled <laughs> and everything they even gave me compliments <laughs> and all that stuff so it was really nice it was a great experience so okay so my complimentary breakfast just came in mm, guys i'm so hungry i'm not gonna lie like i'm so hungry i don't even know why i'm even using this fork right now to tear this nylon because not because of anything but because of god i have a feeling a very strong feeling that everything is going to work out as it should i have a strong feeling i even have a strong feeling of the date i'm probably going to get like my visa stamped and all that stuff from the way i was seeing their body language I just hope I'm, 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 I'm right, but by the time this video I put it out there, I'll be sure that I'm right.